Welcome to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in today. I'm going to talk about this Coleman tent that's one of their vintage. This was probably made back in the 70s that I came across and I bought locally. And I'm actually going to sell it on Craigslist. Um, I just kind of bought it to do a little bartering and trading to do a little something else. But this one is the American Heritage Tent model number 8490731. And what I want to talk about, when I got this thing, I looked around for instructions how to put it together, and it was nearly impossible to find any. There was one guy that did a YouTube video, but he just kind of fast-forwarded through putting it together, but really didn't give a lot of detail instructions of how to do it. So, what you're going to have is, let me show you this, you're going to have these poles that have these little uh, ends on them like that. And they're going to coincide with these holes that have these uh, poles that have holes so what do you have here let's see you essentially have three top bars and when you put these together they're going to have end caps so if you get a bag full of poles here's what you're going to look for they have these little end caps like this okay and this one here if i can capture it it has these little spring uh, notches so it has holes and then it notches in right so you have one pole and then it goes into this hole this pole that has the holes then you have another pole that goes in the other end but it does not have those notches the pole that it slides into has these little notches on both sides that actually stops the pole from sliding any further in so your adjustment is going to be made here at this end where those little holes are and that little uh, spring tensioner um, piece is going to come through. If you look up top, same situation. So those are going to be your three main bars that go across the top. One, two, and three. All right, so then you're going to have six total poles. One, two, and three that go across that hold the actual tent up. And these same thing you're going to have um they're going to be color coded so the ones that are on the end here are blue now it may be different for different models or different years or whatever but they have that little piece that goes inside of here all right so you have one of these poles and if you look it has the same system just like this it slides in and then the end pole the end of that pole is going to look like that so when you're putting this thing together you're going to have to stake it first trying to do it without it being staked is nearly impossible this center ridge pole same thing it's just two poles that slide into one another and they have this little piece here okay same thing over here so like i said you're going to have three on one side and then you're going to have three on the other side so that's how it's going to go together but i just staked it out just temporarily in four corners it has one two three four on both sides and then the same thing all the way around so one two three and four so i'll take you inside if you hadn't ever seen one of these coleman tents um, this one is in excellent condition there's only one tea tiny hole down here and that can be repaired very easily either with a patch or otherwise you can sew it back together probably so and then put like a little silicone um, uh, tear mender or something in behind the um, sewed portion of it uh, just to waterproof it but really good height and uh, this tin is in excellent condition I'll show you around and these uh, side windows have flaps that zip up but uh, great ventilation um, it's not real hot out here today but it's uh, it's nice and cool under this tent to be honest with you but anyway guys I just want to kind of show in conjunction maybe with what that guy did um, with his tent um, trying to show you how to put it together real quick but that's how you do it. Like I said, it's just got uh, three 
ridge poles that uh, slide into one another. So again, there's going to be there the ridge poles that go across the top are in three pieces: one, two, and then three. This middle pole, like I said, has the holes that in conjunction with that little spring uh, thing that pops in, and then this right here is uh, what stops this pole from sliding any further in. You make your adjustment on this end. But uh, anyway, really nice tent, and uh, it's going to make somebody a nice one. Like I said, just a little different than what I wanted, but like I said, I thought it was a good deal that I bought it and uh, was going to uh, actually just sell it and then do a little trading around to buy something else. Probably another tent, to be honest with you, or some, or some other kind. Um, kind of got my own one that I've looked at for a while and I've in the talks with the company about uh, doing a review on it. But anyway, guys, just hope this is helpful. If you've got one of these old style tents, trying to figure out how to uh, put it together, uh, pretty simple. If you have any questions, you can post those below as always. Like, share, and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. It's down that corner. Also down in that corner is the share button. Share content helps us get the word out about Guns and Gear Network, which is always appreciated. Thank you guys, have a great day.